On the back you can see an aluminum back on the iPhone 6s and on the iPhone 12 mini we have that glass back and I would definitely say the glass back is far better. You have capability that you know the 6s didn't have before like with the wireless charging and the back tap features now with iOS 14. The iPhone 6s does not have any of that so that's another pretty big thing to keep in mind. Now with those camera setups I'll go ahead and get into them. The iPhone 6s has that single 12 megapixel camera. It's a wide angle lens. There's really not any more angles that we have with that specific lens. Whereas in the iPhone 12 mini we have that 12 megapixel wide angle lens and that 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Now with the iPhone 6s what I can tell you and I've said this before and I'll say it again it wasn't a bad camera at the time and I actually think it was pretty much one of the biggest revolutionary things that happened from one iPhone camera to the other because specifically we were having the ability of shooting 4k videos the next generation I think with the 7 plus added more capability with its dual camera setup but with the 6s I mean that 4k capability has transferred over to many other iPhones since then which is really awesome and I would definitely tell you the camera on it isn't horrible it does kind of suck a lot in the video quality and there's just not that many things you can do with it I mean there's no portrait mode no night mode no 4k at 60 the front camera is also only a 5 megapixel sensor where you can only do 1080p videos on that so the camera overall isn't horrible it'll get the job done but it's definitely outdated and the quality of the photos aren't as great as something like the 12 mini including that front camera whereas on the 12 mini we have that wide whereas on the 12 mini we have that wide angle lens as well as that ultra wide sensor which i've said before and i'll say it again is one of my favorite things about this specific device i mean the camera of these phones even though it is a smaller phone overall they didn't really sacrifice in the camera department which is awesome it's pretty much the same camera as the iphone 12 you can do 4k at 60 on that camera and i think i filmed a camera comparison between these two i'm not really too sure but i pretty much found that the 12 mini is a much better camera lens for sure and with that front camera that's 12 megapixels you can also do 4k 60 on that camera as well which that is much better than the successes camera so if you're not even trying to get a camera upgrade or you are trying to get a camera upgrade you are for sure going to be getting a better camera from the iphone 12 mini than on the iphone 6s that is for sure 100 of a fact there's no other way to word it that phone is going to be doing you much better than the iphone success but i still think the successes camera is okay for the most part but like i said there's you know the iphone 11 that still has a really good camera even the iphone 10r is worlds above the iphone success and apple still selling that brand new for 499 so that's another pretty big thing to keep in mind as well so in terms of the camera that pretty much covers it up now